You're probably familiar with Notion AI, but did you know that you can now run any language model, locally hosted or cloud, directly in a Notion database? Check this out. So I asked this question, what company made you? Status changed the processing, and now we have these answers coming in in all these different columns. Now, if you look at the column names, you can see these are actually the names of different models. And those are, in fact, the models that are answering these questions. So we can do another question here, like, what is the latest date you're aware of? Change the status to ready. And it's going to then pick that up, start processing and asking all these different models the question and then putting the answer from each model here. So you can see like this isn't just one or two models. This is like a lot of models. And if you want to add another model, you can just create a new column and give the column name uh, as the name of the model that you want to add. And then when you do that, let me move it over here. Uh, when you do that, then any new questions that you ask, that model is going to be asked that question as well. So we could go with something like, uh, what's this? This is one of my favorite questions right now. Um, and so now it's going to ask all of the models that we already had and this new model here. I didn't have to add anything fancy to do it. I just had to know um, what the name of the model was to name this column that. Now, something that you might notice is that some of these answers are different coming in here. And these aren't from, you know, no name models like this GPT-40 mini that's coming in with the wrong answer here. Um, so what you might want to do is you might want to have a multi-model consensus, right, where you're looking at all of these and then seeing what the answer is. Well, if you want to do that, uh, I've actually made that really easy. Just create a new column, name the column consensus, and let's drag that over here. Now, if we run one of these questions, so we can put this back to ready. Um, when we run this, it's going to go and ask all of these different models what their answers are. And then it's going to take those responses and send them to a different model. And that model is going to pick if there is a consensus and if there is what's the consensus answer. So in this case, you can see it's saying that the consensus answer is 107, which is cool and all. Um, oh, and you can also configure stuff right up here. So if, if you wanted the consensus prompt to be something different, like, uh, let's say, respond with the word blue, um, you know, if we do something like that, and then we rerun something, or I guess we can do a new one here. What is two plus two? That's a classic. Uh, once this runs, instead of responding with the you know, correct consensus answer, it's actually going to be responding with um, with what's up here. So in this case, it should say the word blue here. There it is. Uh, let's put that back before we continue so that we have the right consensus. There we go. Um, so these are all interesting, but uh, let's look at some serious questions, right? So here's a bunch of serious questions I've prepared, and we can just change the status of these to ready, and you'll see they all will start firing. Answers will start coming in. Consensus will be looked for. Uh, and you can read through some of these, read through the answers. Uh, let's see, as these are processing, who's going to be first with an answer? Here we go. Llama 3.2, that's one of the local models. Groke is coming in quickly. 40 Mini is coming in here. Uh, all right, everybody pretty much is coming in here. This is another local model. So these local models, like 5.4 and Llama 3.2 Instruct, these are actually just running on my laptop. I'm not paying anything for those ones. Those are totally free. Uh, they're less good at some of the more difficult questions, but the simple, easy stuff they do fine at. This is fun here. I'm asking the same question three times and just changing the, the order on the third one. So it's fun to see how a, a model like this will give you three different answers. It's kind of hilarious. Gemini 2.0 Flash. Uh, we got one answer for these two versions and then a different answer for this one, which is hilarious. It'll be interesting to see what the consensus is there. Let's see, GPT-40 Mini, it fell for it as well. I got three different answers. 3.5 Sonnet nailed it. Uh, let's see, 5.4, three different. Gemini Flash, three different. What's another? Well, this is the, the brand new Cloud 3. Point, Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. Looks like it got three different answers as well. That's kind of interesting, actually, that 3.5 Sonnet nailed all three of these. Um, 3.7 didn't, but we can look at some some more here. So is cereal soup? Consensus is no. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What? Oh, another favorite of mine is... Uh, where is it down here? 
what is the seventh letter in this sentence, apples are hard to eat. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the correct answer should be A, of which two models, O3 Mini High, GPT-40 Mini, okay, only two models got that one right. So that's a fun one just to uh, be a friendly little reminder not to always trust what these models are telling you. Uh, 12 times 12, pretty much everybody got that right. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's how... That's how I am running any language model, local or cloud hoster that I want in Notion databases. Um, and again, just to show you, if you want a new question, uh, what is a Notion database? That's a boring question we can ask, and you just change this to ready. And then it will get picked up and start processing by asking all of the different uh, all of the different models what the question is and putting their responses in here. So there we go uh let's see collection of pages that's fun very simple i think that one actually listens to my instruction to be uh yeah keep the responses short so that's good there oh and that is the other thing you can change your system prompt and chat prompts from right here now the chat prompt will just be concatenated with whatever the question is so it doesn't it doesn't replace or override it just adds the two together so you can add any sort of instructions that you're going to want to be going with all of these you can add those there Anyway, that's it. That's my little quick tutorial demo on uh, the integration that I've got so I can use any LLM in Notion database directly. Uh, if that was interesting to you, please like and subscribe and put a comment down below. Let me know what was interesting, specifically what you'd like to see more of. It's been a lot of fun kind of exploring this direction, and I would love to explore more, but I'm also curious uh, which specific sort of vein of this other people are interested in, whether that's the multi-model consensus stuff, um, spreadsheet-based AI workflows or something like local LLMs versus cloud or, you know, kind of anything totally different. Just let me know. Very curious what's interesting to you on this stuff. I know I had a lot of fun and I appreciate you taking the time to watch.